Hello, this is Mr. Flagman30 here, and I'm bringing you a co commentary tips and tricks video on Black Ops 2. And re the first thing I'd like to say is just thanks to all of my subscribers and everyone who's managed to get, really, I've managed to get like five subscribers. I know most of you'll be like, oh, it's not that much. Oh, God, no, stop talking like this. But to be honest with you, five subscribers after one or two videos is massive for me to get so i'd like to thank you all before i start this video but now the tips and tricks video i i've been uh, struggling with this for quite a while but then i managed to find out how you you literally the getting the golden camos on each gun just to get the diamond camos it's been a real real pain but i've managed to find a very very good way of getting the the headshots a lot lot faster at um just play free for all, really. Just because most of the people in there, they'll be more wanting to run to their own specific locations, and they'll be wanting to. They won't be focused on trying to look around and trying to find someone behind them. Because if you, you run up behind them and then you start shooting at them, they aren't. They are definitely not. They're more than likely not going to attempt to turn around and shoot. They'll probably just try and run for cover, and that's seriously. That is not, not a good idea on their part because literally, I mean, who does that in Call of Duty? It's just like they're getting a shot at. What do they do? Not turn around and fight back. They try and outrun bullets to cover, which is not exactly the most smartest thing to do. But to be honest with you, the free, playing free throw does really help because if you manage to get behind them, it's not like there's an objective or out, so they're not so you, they're not constantly like appearing behind you like you don't have to go into their spawn and kill like about two of them then get absolutely overwhelmed because they keep getting killed and then immediately knowing exactly where you are and spawning behind you and stuff you can just literally run around and kill them and they'll end up spawning on the other side of the map or something like that or quite far away from you if you're lucky but what i'm using here for the submachine guns i'm not sure about the assault rifles and lmgs but it should be good for them as well as i'm using the red dot site definitely and i definitely recommend the predators the predator scope for it as literally it's i find it much much easier than the red dot site because the red dot site just really not exactly the most um how to put it like accurate because if you're aiming at their heads sometimes it'll, it'll just somehow count as you hitting them in the neck or in the shoulder for some reason and i have no idea why that happens probably lag or something like that or just the fact that the bullet registration is off a bit if we're using the Predator one, it's a lot easier because you get the head in between all three of them and you recommend and like you definitely confirmed a headshot there. And another thing I'd use is two other things. If you've got a low recoil firing weapon and you're trying to get the headshots in that, use the quick draw perk as it'll allow you to just zoom up quickly a lot more and then just kill them instantly basically. But if you've got a weapon which isn't exactly the best with recoil, as I'm using in this gameplay here with a vector, I just put on the foregrip attachment, and literally it worked a thrill. And if you want to, you can put on the laser sight as well for good, uh, like hip fire accuracy. Like you run around the corner, and there's just someone there, and you haven't got time to aim up the sight to get the headshot. You just hold down the trigger, and you've you've got them straight away there. But if you haven't got a if you haven't got laser sight on, then it'll be a bit more difficult there. But such as I've got the vector here, I believe I've got the red dot sight, the uh, foregrip, and I think I've got quick draw on this one because I literally hijacked was a map I am on, which I would really recommend since it's such a small map. I would also I would have recommended Nuke Town or something like that for free for all, but most of you might not have it, and it will take, and they don't actually have free for all on it in this game, which is a bit of a shame, but. Hijack's still the smallest map that I know of that you can get. Uh, three f that you can play free for all on it. It's much, much easier since people just spawn so close together in such qu close quarters. And um, I'll give you another. I'll give you another uh, tip here is that once you've finished the uh, headshots and stuff like that, and you're going for the like attachments one, no attachments, no perks, double kills and stuff. If you can't play on Nuke Town because uh, if you haven't already got it because you didn't get the hardened edition or prestige edition buy the DLC because apparently now if you buy the DLC you'll get the Nuketown 2025 map and you'll also get it for uh, zombies as well which is a nice added bonus in there as well especially if it's going to help you 
uh, rank, rank up their guns a lot faster and get those camos. But um, really, that's that's the tip and trick uh, for the for um, this video. And uh, once again, like thank all of my subscribers and everyone who's watched my video so far. Uh, like the video if you want to and comment down below on any topics or something I should do in my full-on commentary which will be coming out possibly next week maybe later and um, really seriously just comment just comment on how you think I could have improved this video how we can improve future videos and again what topics you think I should put into me uh, full-on commentary later this week next week or maybe even a bit later than that so uh, hope you like the uh, video uh, this is Mr. Fagman 30 saying goodbye bye